Hey guys, we're back. And as I hinted at in the last video, we're going to dive into how to use Google Trends to find keyword phrases people are searching for actively on YouTube so you know what kind of content you could be producing, what kind of content people really want to know about, and what kind of content and keywords you could use in all your marketing, so your blog posts, your ad campaigns, what kind of content should you be creating for your video ads, for your Facebook ads, brilliant intel, brilliant information available to you at Google Trends. So go to google.com forward slash trends and let's start adding items. So I'm going to go with a couple uh, more broad niche markets here. I'm going to go with the, the blogging niche market. So I'm going to type that in, blogging, and we'll see what pulls up here. And then we'll type in, let's do WordPress related. Uh, that's related to blogging, of course. So WordPress and then let me do another phrase here. So let's say um, WordPress blogging, let's say entrepreneurship. And then let's just try one other phrase here um, that's somewhat related to uh, these topics here. So WordPress blogging, um, let's say work from home or home business. Let's do that, home business. And there, there right here is the four keyword phrases we're going to go for this. So I'm typing those in. We're comparing those. Um, surprisingly, WordPress has really overtaken them in the web search. And we can do our normal web search thing to see, you know, what keywords are popular for blogging, for, um, you know, WordPress, which keyword phrases are the top keyword phrases. So WordPress themes, those types of keywords we thought would be popular. But the rising keywords, what I absolutely love, you can see that Wix is up 80%. Uh, for WordPress, WooCommerce is up 60%, Bootstrap, GoDaddy, um, GoDaddy and WordPress is up. So those are some ideas there of, for the web search. Now we're going to do right over here, remember you can drop down and see shopping, news, we're going to do YouTube search. I think that's a really powerful feature of this because you're going to see firsthand what kind of data is trending on YouTube, right? So still WordPress actually over and above is blowing out entrepreneurship videos, blogging videos. And so that would tell me I need to do some more videos on WordPress. Because with WordPress videos, I can sell people on a, my affiliate link. I could send them to my affiliate link for hosting through HostGator, Bluehost, or any number of web hosts out there. So I could do that, a promote it as an affiliate. With WordPress, I can get them onto my email list if they're interested in getting more traffic or interested in knowing the top five plugins I use. I can build my list, build my audience, build my following because Google Google Trends tells me that's where I should be focusing my time. So um, you can scroll down here and look again at WordPress. And let's see, again, these are phrases that people are typing into YouTube itself. So how to do WordPress, that's right up there. WordPress tutorial, website uh, with WordPress, WordPress for beginners, that's a top one. So let's go to rising here and see what the rising um, searches. This is a breakout phrase, WordPress in 2016. Now, you could do a video on WordPress in 2016 as well. You could also start positioning yourself for WordPress 2017 and what's what do you expect blogging to be like in 2017? What's going to change? Um, those kinds of things, especially as like January to or around um, November, December, as that rolls around. But notice that's a breakout tutorial, you know, WordPress tutorial. So if I were to take this keyword phrase, WordPress um, 2016, I could type that in here to Google suggested search WordPress uh, 2016. And it's going to bring up some ideas for me here at the bottom. Um, WordPress 2016 themes, um, WordPress platform. So it'll show up some additional keywords uh, that people may have searched for. We can also find from the top phrases, these are the more long-term phrases, uh, WordPress for beginners, right? WordPress for beginners. So I'm going to start my search here, WordPress for beginners. All right, WordPress for beginners. And down here at the bottom, they're going to tell me WordPress for beginners PDF, WordPress for beginners course, WordPress for beginners tutorial. Now, do you think if I targeted that keyword phrase and I had an ad campaign targeted to, you know, for WordPress for beginners course, and I had a little landing page that said, hey, I've got a beginner's uh, guide to WordPress ebook here. I bet I would get a lot of people that would buy that because it's extremely targeted, right? So WordPress for Beginners course, 
I think is pretty fascinating. So I want to see if I could do a blog post and get ranked fairly easily for that keyword phrase. So let's go over here and do that. So remember, as we talked about in our last one, the all in title search feature, which I think is really powerful. So all in title. And then I'm going to do quotes right here. Quotes right here. All in title. WordPress for beginner course. So that's going to pull up only websites that have that in the title tag. There's only 103 results. So that means only 10 pages of Google have that in there. And I'm looking at my competition and it's not very, um, very promising, but not very, um, powerful I should say like this one is courses.laymoon.com and there are several of them showing up so that means if I take my blog my website and I did a blog post on it if I did a word or a YouTube video on it there's a good chance I might rank higher for that keyword phrase WordPress for beginners course because I have it there in my title tag now that would be a really powerful set of YouTube videos WordPress for beginners you know that's really really powerful Let's take another keyword phrase, for example, in, that's popular in YouTube, makeup tutorials. Now, I know makeup tutorials itself is hot, you know, because a lot of people are doing that. But I'm curious as to what other keyword phrases in YouTube people are wanting to know about related to makeup tutorials. Now, notice makeup tutorials actually outdid blogging, still didn't overtake WordPress, though. So that's something you should be looking at. Um, so I click on makeup tutorials here. And I'm going to see the top keyword, hair tutorials. Um, let's see, makeup, uh, Kitty's Mama, somebody I think that's famous in there. Uh, makeup Tutorials 2015. And if I go to Rising, we can see who kind of the Rising um, Makeup Tutorials 2016. Now remember, that's kind of a trend that carries over from WordPress. Remember, WordPress 2016 is the breakout phrase, meaning it's well over a thousand percent in jump. Um, Terry Makeup Tutorials looks like an up-and-coming makeup artist. Um, these are famous people that are doing uh, the makeup, so you know uh, kind of who they are and. and and uh, kind of what they're doing so you could identify who to target who to follow those kind of things so uh, this trends tool is extremely powerful you should be using it for your business I love this feature especially because I could find you know courses like this one right here WordPress for beginners course I need to go right over here to YouTube I'll do that right now word uh, youtube.com WordPress for beginners course I'm gonna see what shows up here WordPress for beginners course see what shows up and there it is WordPress for beginners course we'll see um, there's about hundred and forty thousand results there for that um, but watch what happens when I do it in quotes meaning I'm targeting just that keyword phrase that's gonna be the sole focus of my WordPress targeting or my Google targeting so there's now only 37 results that are using that exact match phrase in the title of their YouTube videos. So that means if I created a video, I would have a decent chance of ranking inside of YouTube search engine. And all this data was uncovered. WordPress for Beginners course was uncovered to me because I use Google Trends here to identify that that's a phrase people are searching for actively in YouTube because they want to know about that. This is a great way to do niche research, to find you know info product niches to go into. Google Trends is powerful. Check it out. Use it for your business. Thank you.